Good day, grade 10s. In this lesson, we will look at the similarities in chemical properties of the elements in groups 1, 2, 17 and 18. If we look at the periodic table, we will remember that group 1 is called alkaline metals. Group 2, the alkaline earth metals. Group 17 are the halogens. And group 18 are called the noble gases. As you know, some periodic tables number all the groups across the periodic table, which means that group 7 is labeled as group 17, and group 8 is 18. You need to be able to use both ways of numbering the groups. We already know that elements in the same group have the same outer electronic structure. This means that they have the same number of valence electrons. Let's just consider the elements in periods 1 to 3. Except for helium, the elements in the last group, 8 or 18, the noble gases, have 8 valence electrons. We say that they have an octet structure. This means that their outer electron shells are full. Therefore, the atoms in group 18 are very stable and do not normally react. Remember, the number of bonds an atom can form depends on the number of valence electrons. Let us now look at the group 1 elements. If an atom in group 1 donates its valence electron, it forms a positive ion. But after it does this, it now has a full outer electron shell. If we look at the electron structure of this new ion, the previous noble gas, you will notice that they are the same. We can therefore see that group 1 elements will easily donate their electrons to become positive ions and have full outer electron shells. Now let us look at group 2, which has two valence electrons in its outer electron shell. An atom in group 2 donates both its valence electrons in order to have a full outer electron shell. And when it donates the electrons, it becomes a positive ion. What do you notice if we compare the electronic structure of the positive ion with that of the previous noble gas? We see that the electronic structures are the same. So the elements in group 2 get the previous noble gas structure if they donate their valence electrons and at the same time they become positive ions. Now if we look at the electronic structure of group 17, the halogens, we can see that they have 7 valence electrons. They therefore need only one electron to have the same electronic structure as the next noble gas. Atoms in group 7 therefore accept an electron and so form a negative ion. We have seen that there is a definite relationship between the chemical properties of elements and their electronic structure. We now investigate the reactivity of the elements in these groups. But what is reactivity? The reactivity of an element is a measure of how strongly an atom of an element reacts with atoms of other substances. This depends on the ionization energy, how easily an electron is removed from an atom, and also on the electronegativity, how strongly an atom attracts electrons to it. We know that the electron affinity increases from left to right across the period, and as we move up a group. We also know that electronegativity increases from left to right across a period, and as we move up a group. Therefore, it is obvious that the reactivity of metals decreases from left to right across the period and increases down the group. The reactivity of the halogens decreases down the group. The most reactive is fluorine. Now let us look at the properties of each of these groups in more detail. We will start with group 1, the alkali metals. Alkali metals are soft metals with a shiny appearance. They are good conductors of heat and electricity. They have low densities and float on water. They are very reactive and thus do not occur naturally in nature as elements. Look what happens when sodium is put in water. When an alkali metal such as sodium reacts with water, it forms hydrogen gas and a metal hydroxide. We can write this equation as Na plus H2O goes to Na OH plus H2. To balance this equation, we place a 2 in front of the Na and also a 2 in front of the H2O. Then we put a 2 in front of the sodium hydroxide on the right hand side. 
alkali metals burn fiercely in oxygen as you can see here. When alkali metals burn in oxygen, they form metal oxides. We can use lithium as an example and represent this in an equation. Li plus O2 goes to Li2O. To balance this equation, we add a 4 in front of the lithium and a 2 in front of the lithium oxide on the right hand side. The alkali metals are stored under oil as they react spontaneously with oxygen and water vapor in the air. Now let us look at the properties of group 2, the alkaline earth metals. When we look at the periodic table, we can see that group 2 is made up of beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium and radium. These metals have a silvery appearance. Since these elements are metals, they are also good conductors of heat and electricity. Alkali earth metals are not as reactive as alkali metals, so they can be stored in their elemental form in sealed containers. They react slowly with oxygen in the air and form metal oxides. Here you can see the reaction between magnesium ribbon and oxygen. Note the bright white flame. Here is the balanced reaction equation. The reactivity with oxygen increases down the group because the ionization energy decreases down the group. The reactivity with water also increases down the group. These metals react with water to form hydrogen gas and a metal hydroxide. For example, Ca plus 2H2O forms calcium hydroxide Ca bracket OH bracket 2 plus H2. Now let us move to group 17. Fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine and astatine belong to this group, the halogens. It is important to remember that the halogens occur naturally in pairs as diatomic molecules. Halogens are non-metals. They have very low melting and boiling points. Fluorine and chlorine are yellowish green gases at room temperature and are very poisonous. Bromine is a reddish brown liquid. It is very volatile and evaporates easily. Iodine is made up of shiny dark purple crystals. Iodine sublimates easily at normal temperatures to form purple fumes. Finally, let us look at the properties of group 18. The noble gases are made up of helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon and radon. We have already mentioned that they are unreactive as they have full outer electron shells and they occur as monoatomic atoms. Modern airships and balloons are filled with helium gas. Helium has a very low density and rises but is safe to use as it is non-reactive. Neon glows when heated and is used in neon lights. Grade 10s, in this lesson we have investigated the characteristics of groups 1, 2, 17 and 18. We now know that the chemical nature of the elements is due to their outer electron structure. We identified the reactivity patterns and have investigated the properties of the